Independent presidential candidate and Honghai founder Terry Goh has come up with an unusual proposal to boost Taiwan's slumping birth rate. He's proposing to get people to adopt a pet for every child they have. Go may think he's the cat's meow, but the idea has been unanimously slammed by lawmakers across the political spectrum. They say he doesn't understand the pressures new parents face, and his view that pets should be treated like material gifts is also showing he has no conception of animal rights. Foxconn founder Terry Goh has proposed a new solution that he claims will improve Taiwan's plummeting birth rate. Give birth to a child and I will let you raise one more pet, a cat, a dog. Give birth to two and I will let you adopt two more. Goh's proposal that parents should be rewarded for having a child with the gift of yet another furry child has unsurprisingly left young mums and dads confused. I don't know what he means. Gifting a pet is not practical. It seems that these two things don't need to be tied together. This is a bit nonsensical. Parents must take care of a one-year-old, a two-year-old, and then they need to take care of the stray cat. Doesn't that create a burden for a young couple? This random poll of Pedestrians show that most people aren't buying Go's dogma. KMT and DPP lawmakers with children or pets themselves also rebutted Go's proposal using concrete examples. We don't need to mention that children may be allergic to pets. These policies or platforms are actually too far away from the general public. This is obviously a concept that treats life like a material gift. Animal protection groups, along with myself, have no way of accepting this concept. To solve the problem of declining birth rates, we must come up with specific policies. DPP lawmaker Wu Siyao lamented that Terry Go didn't understand the concept of animal protection at all. In addition, netizens also made biting remarks that this kind of behaviour from Go was high-handed and autocratic. Some also wondered whether Go meant that you need permission from the government to own a pet. Does Go's proposal amount to a violation of people's rights to freedom, authorised by the Constitution? This was Go's explanation. If there is no birth rate at all in the future, who would take care of our furry friends? So I have put these two issues together. You can't expect me, one person, to propose a complete policy for every little matter. Adding and multiplying love, that's my goal. Whether Go's idea to reward new parents with a pet is good or bad remains to be seen. But it's definitely got Taiwan talking.